there's fish with corn. We're gonna fit, catch, catch us some uh, trout right here. And we're in Tennessee. We're gonna enjoy us some fishing with the pink reel and all. And it's, it's frozen corn. I hope they don't mind. I think they'll be fine with the frozen corn. Uh, all right, let's do it. There, there we go. Can you, can you catch it? Can you catch it? Oh, oh there goes frozen. Oh, oh, oh it's all in front. Oh, yeah, there. Hold on, man. You got to show, <laughs> show them the product. Show them the product. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see how this goes. I think he caught a tree. We're gonna walk all the way out to the middle of the water, the river in this case, just to get a better fishing spot. You probably want to have some extra bait with you because when the corn kernels fly off your hook and you need more, you have to come all the way back through with the freezing cold water across the slippery rocks with your flip flops on just to get some more kernels of corn. We got into Greenbrier Campground and lo and behold, to our surprise, drum roll please, there's a bounce house. <laughs> they have two bounce houses at this campground. This one's an obstacle course, so you go through the whole thing. There's a slide at the end. The other one's smaller. It's just the slide. How do we feel about this? Um, I feel like there's gonna be injuries. Um, I think there's a chance that uh, ambulance might be called for me, uh, but we're still gonna do it. Nothing's yeah. really gonna stop us, so it should be fun. Yeah. What made this bounce house particularly interesting was the fact that it rained this morning. So it was a little wet, a uh, little wet, wet and muddy. Yeah. 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 I ended up having to take my socks off. They're soaked. It's uh, it's kind of gross in there, but no ambulances. Uh, no. One, one injury, one uh, injury, a yeah. little, little scrape on the knee, but uh, that's an elbow. It's it's a uh, <laughs> little scrape on the elbow, but nothing. It's yeah. fine. Nothing. It was good. Yeah, it was. From bounce houses during the day to sunsets at night, <laughs> we're all over the place. Um, so, where are we going? We're uh, going to Klingman's Dome. Um, it's the tallest point, and it's kind of in between Tennessee and uh, North Carolina. Technically, it's the tallest mountain in Tennessee. Uh, it's the tallest point on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, so. Uh, we're going to be heading up there and uh, it's about 6,500 so feet up.
I'm not gonna say it's cold. I'm not. I'm thinking warm it's, baths. Um, it's a little bit colder. We're uh, hiking up the Klingman's Trail, uh, which is the, it says like half mile to get to there. All trail says 1.2 miles total. So 0 0.5, 0 0.6 up, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 down. Pretty much at a steady incline going up. Yes. And uh, the temperatures got it out a little bit different up here yeah. than it was down in Gatlinburg. No pets. There were signs everywhere. Yeah, no so pets are allowed. Pets. It's, uh, I thought I heard uh, the pets were okay. There's a lot of signs that says... Otherwise. No. Yep. <laughs> We've almost made to the top. Got a little bit longer to go. This is like a Stairmaster on steroids. Hey, it's paid. Could be it's worse. Paid. sunset was ruined uh, might be a cool video but unfortunately the sun was hidden yeah there's a lot of clouds uh, that uh, end up blocking up everything it was fun we had a good time I think I have hypothermia <laughs> I'm still so, in my short sleeve, short sleeve shirt I have all the layers on I gave my long sleeve shirt to the wife <laughs> that's what a good husband does <laughs> uh, uh -huh. we gotta get the pizza we gotta get the pizza. We gotta get the pizza. We gotta pick it up. 9.30. It's gonna be ready. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right, we made it to Cumberland uh, Falls State Resort Park. Mm -hmm. uh, Ange literally just removed a tick off of Tito. Um, we've been here for about two hours maybe. We're about to go on the hike towards the Cumberland Falls and potentially also seeing Eagle Falls. Yep. <laughs> While we hiked at the falls, we want to share our arrival experience with you and provide some recommendations. For starters, this campground is not big rig friendly. Some of the roads to get to the campground are narrow. We missed the turn into the campground and found ourselves stuck in line while workers were repaving the main road. We did have to turn around in the lodge parking lot, which was unfortunately not an easy task with a 31 foot travel trailer. When we did arrive to the site, we noticed some other issues. It was on a hill, it had a huge incline, so we parked ourselves up close and parallel with the road. This was the only spot we could actually get level. We did ask the park staff about switching sites, but they said all other sites would not be accommodating um, for us because they were 28 feet or less. Tito is all excited for some green poop. He says, let me at it. <laughs> We definitely recommend going to the photo opportunity area because the top piece, you can, you can see part of the falls, but not all of them. So down here is much better. One of these days I am actually going 
going to get pulled in. So this is the only area where you're actually allowed to swim. All the stuff up top says no swimming, no wading. Reason being, they don't want you going down the falls. But this is past the falls, so it's considered safe. This is a really pretty state park. We're only here for two nights, so I don't know, we'll get the full effect. Today we just got in, so we have one day to do hiking, because tomorrow there's supposed to be storms. So we're probably gonna be stuck inside, but we have some computer work and things like that to do, so that should be fine. While hiking the trails, we saw signs that said that pets weren't allowed. It's crazy, because we talked to two workers here, you know, just talk about the trails we were going on and whatnot. They're like, yeah, let's, we'll give you a, a trail map. And they saw that we had our dogs with us, and they never said they weren't allowed, so. We made it. To Eagle Falls. Tito says I made it too. Even though I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, so we made it to Eagle Falls. Uh, here is Eagle Falls. Uh, the trek was pretty challenging at the end. A lot of boulders, a lot of rocks to climb around, uh, a lot of steep stairs. We saw someone that was close to double our age and uh, they made it down here. So it's all about the journey. It's not about how long it takes to get there. And there's a lot of stairs. So there's like concrete stairs, there's metal grate stairs, there's rock stairs, there's homemade wooden stairs, you name it, there's all kinds of stairs. <laughs> When we hiked to Eagle Falls, we didn't drive. We wanted to just, you know, hike right from the campground, which we were able to. So we connected from trail two to trail four. You have to cross the bridge. Um, the problem is the trail, there is no trail there. So you have to go along the, the road and the road has no shoulder. And there's a guardrail along the road at, um, you know, for part of it. So there's no room for you to fit and cars are coming pretty fast. We, we were actually shocked at how fast some of the cars were coming around that curve. And then here we are, and you know, along the side, um, when we were talking to some of the staff here at the campground, they made it sound like, oh yeah, sure, you can go right from Cumberland Falls, just go over the bridge and they can get to Eagle Falls. Yeah, no big deal. Didn't even say like, hey, you're gonna be walking in the road and there's no place really for you to walk. So what we found out, it's probably better just to park your car at the trailhead and then just hike there on the trail. Don't try to walk across that road because it's not even that busy right now. And we were still dealing with cars flying around, so. Just in case you wondered if this was always all sunshine and glorious weather all the time, there's times when you have to fill up the tires. Uh, there's times when you have to fill up the tires in the rain. There's times when you have to dump in the rain, so. Just want to give you a heads up. It's not all glory all the time, but you know, you make the best of it and uh, sometimes you get wet. I mean, you're out in the wilderness. It uh, definitely happens. 